Hi, I'm Michelle and this is my romantic tangle and I have been thrifting again. I wanted to go look at the Halloween stuff and see if there's anything vintage to be found. Now, I don't know how you tell the difference between actual vintage Halloween and new but pretending to be vintage or inspired by vintage Halloween. And honestly, because I am not a reseller and because I don't spend enough on any one item that it matters if it's new or old, I'm not all that worried about it. Most of the stuff that's here on the shelf at our local Goodwill is pretty obviously new. I'm not expecting to find anything fantastic and old, but... It's fun to look, and I do think that this candle is probably not new. I don't, I can't justify that. It's just a gut feeling I had, and hopefully somebody who collects these old candles will stumble across it and give it a good home. I really didn't see anything here in the Halloween that made my heart go pity pat, and that's probably a good thing because at the point where I was filming this, I'm not decorating my house for Halloween until at least we get everything unpacked and back where it belongs. That's a cute couple up there. But like I said, it's fun to look. And it gives me Halloween ideas to maybe inspire some of my Flossoween projects. I did like this little witch. I don't know if she is store-bought or if somebody made her. I kind of think that she might be a kitchen witch just because she's so cute and welcoming. Back in the day when my mom did ceramics, she did a whole bunch of kitchen witch stuff, and now I want to call her and see if she still has anything in a box because that is something I need to add to my kitchen. Love the little oil lamp. I am drawn to oil lamps like moths to a flame and... I could not tell you why. If the boys had been with me, they wanted, would have wanted to give that fella a good home. Here's milk glass, and it's the sharp, faceted kind that I like. And the piece next to it is a different shade of white, so I need to educate myself a little bit in what is and isn't real milk glass. Is it a case of you know it when you see it? I know there's some trick with a flashlight, but I honestly think I'm all that don't think I'm all that motivated. Here's a scrubby holder. My mom had this mold back in the day when she was doing ceramics too. I know that there were frogs that went by. She used to do craft shows, and so there were a whole bunch of different things that she made over and over and over. Pretty candy dish, but I don't need blue. If it had been red or green or heck even clear I would have been more tempted but it's easy to walk away from the blue I don't know why I like the green and some pretty turtles on a decorative plate it's probably a good thing that my home doesn't have many flat surfaces to display this sort of stuff on I kind of like the Vegas slot machine bell one of my boys collects old Vegas stuff, but I don't think that meets his criteria. And I was almost tempted by this new in package sheet. It's cotton percale and it is vintage. And I have used so many of these vintage cotton sheets in my quilts, never one that was new in the packaging. If it had been half price day on that color sticker, it would have been a heck of a deal, but I was looking and not buying, and I don't even think I looked to see what color the discount sticker was. There will be estate sales, and there will be more sheets, and I probably still have plenty up in the sewing room for when I pick up my quilting again. Love the still life with the lace in the basket. It's another thing to add to my I would swoon over it if it was a cross-stitch pattern. If I could just convince myself to rotate the artwork on my walls... I could have more of this stuff in my life. Love the old school room. That's another thing that if it was cross stitch, I would stitch it in a moment. Thought for a di from a distance of that, how to preserve a husband design was cross stitch, but no, it's not. And here's another still life that I absolutely adore. The glare makes it hard to see, but 
look at that fruit. I don't think I've seen one with a watermelon before, and I just kind of love that. This is a shop belonging to the same charity as the one where I got my milk glass candy dish not long ago, and their clear glass really is inexpensive. I don't know if I just never looked at it before because I thought it would be priced the same as Goodwill and some of the other stores do, or if they've changed their pricing. Whatever it is, I'm going to keep my eyes open. Some tie-dye artwork, and I have stopped picking through the artwork at this shop and looking for those Dimensions cross-stitch kits that might or might not have been donated. I wish they hadn't put the price sticker over the one interesting picture in that frame. Here's some stamped cross-stitch, and their little tiny craft section was really super cluttered. And I wasn't feeling nearly motivated enough to dig through that and look and see if there was any more cross stitch. I see a bit of rickrack and some yarn and I just let it be. I thought when I opened this that there might be a phonograph in there, but there was not. Now my gut feeling is that maybe this held a television set. I don't know what I'm basing that gut feeling on. It's got the RCA Victor logo, so could have been a TV, could have been a radio. And for some reason, I'm just dying to know. So if you are familiar with these old cabinets and have the answer for me, please let me know. I am just drawn to this stuff. Probably comes from my parents owning a an appliance store throughout my childhood. And this thing is way before my time. But if I could think of a place to put that in my house now, I probably would. The smoke cleared a couple of days ago, but I think it has still done a number on my voice. So I apologize for the occasional coughing. I'm not sick. I'm just still used to breathing crud and trying to cough it back up, I guess. Kind of like the sewing basket. I didn't see that those were geese on the handle when I saw it there in the store. It's a little too cutesy for my taste. And if you look up here in, where is it? I know it's coming, the corner, the bed stacked with match mattresses was very Princess in the Pea. I don't shop for mattresses at thrift stores, but the, what's the word I want? It looked cool. And I couldn't get a better picture of it because there were employees in that corner of the store. Love the little lamp. There's some more Halloween here, but I think all of this was brand new. Nothing particularly fun. Now, if somebody was to donate some of that vintage inspired Halloween stuff to the thrift store and the price was right, I would totally be all over it. I can't decide if this little tattered ghost here was handmade or man-made, and I don't know why I care because it's not something I would choose to decorate with. There's something about thrifting where you find these little mysteries that pique your curiosity and sometimes can't let them go. I've got a bunch of the other kits that go in the same set as this one, but I just, I don't know. I should have wanted this one, but for some reason I it's right up my alley, but it didn't need to come home with me and so it stayed there in the store. Now this Aunt Verdi's porch is a Paula Vaughn design and look at that crazy quilt. It had to come home with me, although I think it might be in a book I already own. For 50 cents, I wasn't going to gamble. This is the Singer 100th Anniversary Commemorative Machine that they came out with a while back. They wanted $200 for it. Personally, I think it is really ugly and I'd rather have an old singer. I love these glasses. When I was a little girl, my grandma had these glasses and we used to have vanilla ice cream with Hershey's chocolate syrup from the tin, which probably dates me a bit. And now it is driving me batty because I don't know if she got rid of her glasses before she passed away. I don't remember them being in her house. But at the same time, it is totally possible that they are boxed up in my attic because after 
both of my grandparents had passed away, we boxed up a whole lot of the contents on their kitchen in case my kids, my older teens could use it when they set it, set up housekeeping later on. So I may have to go and do some digging and see if somehow I do have those dishes somewhere in my life because I got a bit of a bee in my bonnet and it would be cool if I had them. There is an eight millimeter film editor. I'm sure there's something in that other case worth looking at, but I didn't stop long enough to open it up. Thank you for thrifting with me. I am Michelle. This is my romantic tangle, and I will be back with you with more videos soon.